Hey everyone, very cute GM here, and today we're gonna do a short playthrough or a short series, depending on how smart I am, um, with this game called Her Story. So, for those who don't know, um, Her Story came on my radar not too long ago. Jesse Cox and I, Jesse Cox was playing it, and the concept was interesting. I didn't watch more, more more of his video after he explained what the game was about. And then my younger brother decided he wanted to try this game and since we, you know, he uses the Steam account because, you know, he doesn't play games as often as I do, he bought the game and played it himself. Um, he hasn't told me anything about it, so I'm going in here blind. The only thing I know about this game is that you get to look over archives of testimonies and that's all I know so let's let's jump right into it um, I got a piece of paper and a pen just in case I have to take notes um, I'm pretty old school with with games so I take a lot of notes sometimes I take a lot of notes with pillars of eternity also but let's get started so let's start and see where this goes Old school uh, computer sounds. All right, you are logging as authorized guest. In search query murder. Clip stored. All right, uh, let's let's search. All right, so we have. All right, so let's let's play a clip. It's eleven seconds, right? Um, I feel like I should write some of this down. This must be a testimony of this person. Alright, so it's named Stored in User Session. Alright, so they're all clips. So let's add that to session and let's just play it and see what we got here. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? All right, so she's being questioned. Um, I guess at the session and play. Yeah, that's me. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? All right, so the victim is Simon. Um, there was footage of, I'm calling her this woman, in February, months before the murder. I, I gotta write all this down, guys, before murder, because my sh attention span is pretty short, and the victim's name is Simon. Alright, what about... All right, we'll add this and we'll play it and see what we got. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. All right, uh, woman denies Simon's murder. Am I supposed to click things in the background or something? All right, let's add this to the session and play it. Interrogation room B. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. And now she wants a... Um... Hmm. So there must be more files I can access, right? So she wants a lawyer. Alright, so what will happen if I... Well, I want to look at this... Uh, no, I can't. Hack info, mirror game. Um, 
Uh, I don't even know what this means. Uh, read me. Introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most um, be most valuable item in your crime fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archives at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally sonographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, um, uh, such as, to narrow the search, use multiple words. Um, yes, I was there, or... Okay, uh, and what's the really read me? Hey, here's the database. I filed a Freedom of Information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the old original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. But figured this would be enough. Take your time, SB. Alright. What's in the rubbish bin? Oh, the hack info in the, the mirror game. Mirror game. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I mean, I, I could probably... Oh, so the purples turn red. No, I'm, I'm, I'm totally wrong. All right. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. Okay, so now I get to search terms. Um, Feb... I, I don't know how to spell February. February. Something about February. No. Um, did I spell February right? Feb? Feb? No. Um, maybe I spelled February wrong? Yeah, that's me. But, February? That was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Alright, I spelled February wrong. Because I am a dummy. Alright. Um, so, February. Okay, we got two clips of February. It's the one we just looked at. So, I'm going to test. Um, I'm going to start putting some user tags so I don't get confused. So, you. Um, picture of. Uh, picture of accused. Um, taken in Feb. Alright. Um, being told crime was a murder. Um, wanted to have her, wanted to have a lawyer. And what did she say in, in interrogation B? Maybe I don't need my notes after all. Maybe I just should type them in here. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Alright. Uh, claiming... Climbing. Claiming she didn't murder Simon. Okay. Alright, so here's the other February clip. Um... Play. It's 15 seconds long. Well, I don't know. I probably had to pop out and get something, that's why I was speeding. And that wouldn't have been noted on my timesheet. But I really can't remember back to February. Alright, so she was... doesn't remember where she was Speeding to. Alright, um. Oh, I want to add those, add this session. Alright. 
Um, will, will this grow eventually? Yeah. All right. Let's um, speeding. All right. Um, yeah. So th the ones with the eyes aren't the ones we haven't seen yet. So speeding. Let's see what she has to say about speeding. You must be desperate for leads if you're getting hung up over six-month-old speeding tickets. All right, so the murder took place about six months after? All right, so six-month ticket murder took place months after February. Good. Um, okay. Um, so, murder weapon, um, murder weapon, now, how about weapon, now, uh, how about Simon, holy shit, ah, oh, that's a lot of shit, 61 entries found, all right, let's we'll 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 narrow it down. God, sixty one clips. All right, um, all right, let's play this one. Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work: mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. I, I want to get his uh, the name of the company he worked at too. So Simon Smith was a mirror window glass maker, and he specialized in artistic craft. Okay, um, what was the place he worked at named again? Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. Ernest. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. Okay, um, so Simon Smith, glass maker, artist, question mark. Um, okay, add the session. What about this one? Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo instead of spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. All right, so. So, um, Simon, six foot, average build, um, ginger hair, uh, clean shaven, um, close to the victim, went to Rome. All right, add that to the session. Uh, what about this one? It's the Rockington Arms, The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Alright, so Peter and Susan, friends of Simon, um, they both saw Simon and he had a few drinks. He had a few drinks. Um, Alright, so friends, Peter and Susan, um, barmaid, Named Helen. Um, the Rock 
or the Rockington arm, was it? The rock slash Rockington arm. All right, let's add that to the session. I wonder how many I can of these I could add. All right. Yes, it's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games, you know, trying to uh, save the princess, that kind of thing. Amstrad, is that a computer or gaming system? I don't know much about old technology. I'm in played video games. Okay, um, add that to the session. Now we have all these clips. Um, what's this last one? Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? Simon... Not crazy, nor... I'm gonna say spontaneous. Spontaneous. Alright, add to session. Alright, um... I want to know a little more about the rock. Okay. Oh, more clips. All right. So the rock is a bar that Simon, I assume, frequented. So let's listen to this clip. So it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job, but he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at the Rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. He just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. Alright, so Simon missing Friday after your argument um, accused reported back to police um, didn't show up for job with Eric Saturday after noon. All right, let's add that to the session. Um, who is is this? Is this her or is this somebody else? Oh God, I don't know. I mean, I guess the Rock. We've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. Um, many things could have gone wrong, she says. What do you mean many things could have gone wrong? What, what, what are these many things? Alright, let's add that to the session. Um, alright, and play? No, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone signed you from the rock. Plumber from the rock. Came to home. So I assume she's a girlfriend or a spouse or something of that matter. Um, plumber? No, it's just that one entry. Um, Eric. Oh jeez. That's a lot of Eric. Alright. Um Alright, let's play this one. Oh, this is twenty seven seconds long. He was wearing um a shirt. 
with a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch. It's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants and bear. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. The coat is not in the house. Not in house. Um, he was wearing a blue terrier neck that day with jeans. His boss is Eric. Eric is the boss. Um, he has wor All right, so Eric is boss, um, wearing, and I assume Simon. Simon was wearing a blue turtleneck. neck. I can't spell turtleneck. Turtleneck, jeans, and a long duffel gray coat. All right, we'll add that to the session. Uh, what else does she say about Eric? Yes, there's a car that we share, a Cavalier, and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. All right, so they own two cars. Well, one is owned by Eric, it's Cavalier, and the other is a van. So, uses two uh, cars. Van and Cavalier. I think that's how you spell Cavalier. Um, keys. We'll, we'll 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 ask about the car keys soon. Um, all right. Keys at the session. All right. What about this one? Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a Visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. Usually pays with cash. Alright, so Simon had a credit card, um, silver, visa, but preferred to pay with cash. I feel like that's going to be pretty important coming up. Right, let's add that to session. Um, and what's this last one? Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Eric. Diane, married. How many conferences do you have to go to as a window? Oh, well, I guess they're like, um, like showroom type of deals, like brand new windows. These are heat reduction. Or uh, all right, so Eric and Diane, Diane married, married. All right, add that to the session. Okay. Uh, Eric and Eric, Diane. Okay. Why does she have a guitar? All right, next. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time... You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Alright, so... Was gift... From Simon... I mean, gift from Eric... Uh... Accused was in Glasgow. Alright, so... Accused in Glasgow. Um, I don't know how to spell names. Um, Simon's watch was gift from 
boss, Eric, and Diane picked it. Alright, add that to the session. Um, what's this one? Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come in for dinner. That would be us returning the favour. Diane is a really good cook, into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe off Seafax. And I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? Um, Eric, Diane, and Simon all had dinner together occasionally. Alright, add that to the session. And why does she have a fucking guitar? It's, was it Simon's? Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. And they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. You should ask Diane. Simon and Eric arguing. Simon at crazy lover? Actually, no, I'm just gonna put lover and see if there's any. Alright, no lover. Uh, mistress. Alright, good, alright. Cheat! Mum and Dad never knew what was going on. We got so good at it. We were so in sync that we'd use each other to cheat. If one of us had a hangover, the other one would go to school. Whoever was best at a subject would sit the exam. There were lots of differences between us. Some things one is better than the other at. Twin? Win. Holy crap. Okay. She has a twin. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? <laughs> 